hello friends so today we will see how to use or manage aws iam using aws cli so let's start aws iam stands for aws identity and access management we will see here how we can create iam users and iam groups using aws cl commands this is very important service which help us to manage and deploy aws infrastructure securely we can create users and groups using iam and set them permissions to allow or deny them to specific aws resources aws iam service provides following features secure aws account identity management framework centralized control over all aws user and groups fine grain control flexibility in build security policies multi level management that is users group and permissions easy to configure and manage using aws management console aws cli aws powershell or aws software development kit that is sdk so these are the features provided by aws iam you can see in this in this screen let's see some examples of iam so first we just list out all the list uh, users of iam current users by using this command so currently on, we have only one user which it is okay so there are two types of account we can create that are root account and iam account so root account is used to set up an aws subscription when you first time create your aws account you can you can sign in to aws account using root account username and password second one is iam user account these are regular iam user by which you can provide this user to sign in into your aws account with specific permissions and control to access aws resources to manage aws account securely let's see how to create new iam user via cll commands you can use this command let me copy this So, AWS IAM create dash user dash dash user dash name. So we need to provide username here. So PG test user one is my username. Okay, so we have created this user. Let's see next. So now see how we can create a user IAM group. The IAM user group is a collection of IAM users. If number of users needs similar permission that we can create a group and assign them rather than granting this permission to each users also one user can be part of multiple groups and note one thing like uh, the aws iam group can not be nested okay next is how to create iam group and add user to that group so we can use this command to create group AWS IAM create dash group dash dash group dash name so we need to provide group name so PG group is my group name PG group 1 I am assigning so I have created this group so we have created this uh, PG group 1 we now 
add that user in this group so we can use this command to add user copy this command paste it over here let me copy it properly So I am at dash user dash to dash group. This is the function command by which we can assign a user to group. And then we need to provide username which we just created. That was pg test user one, and my group name was pg group one. So it will assign pg test user one user to pg group. Okay, so it is a sign. So we can verify it from the console as well. Show you user which we created. This is the user we have created and uh, this is the new group which we assign here okay so next is uh, how to get uh, group details and its user inside that group so we can use this command to get group detail so we can see the users of that group best here group one is Center. So I have only one user in this group, so you can see so there are uh, three different authentication methods for IM. First one is a uh, username and passwords, API access key and multi-factor token. So let's see how to log in I am user using username password authentication. Before that, first assign a user and password to this user by using the command. Okay. Wait, assign that. Okay. AWS I am create login profile. Test password one time setting. Okay, so we have created username and password for this user. Let's see how to authenticate. I am my user using API access key. So above we we have seen uh, we have created a username password for that uh, particular user so that uh, can access by using these passwords credentials. Let's see how to authenticate. I am a user using API access key. So API stands for Application Programming Interface. API keys allows other program or script to log in within our AWS Cloud program play. And interact with our AWS resources. So, using API access key, other program or script can access resource. Let's see how we can set up or create this API key using the CLI of a specific user. So, let's copy this command. Let's do it here. Change this user name. Something uh, went wrong. Let me check. Let me check it out. WSIM create access key or something. Okay, we need to add dash here. One dash here. Uh, and the username one. 
okay so we have created access keys you can see here secret access key and access key id for this user please make make a note that uh, it is essential to store the key details in safe location for future uses because the key details is only available while creation of these keys in case if you lose these keys uh, it is recommended to delete old keys set and create new one let's see how to delete access keys you can get user key access id from aws console management and we can use this command to delete access keys old access keys check okay so here is the access key id okay open this delete it and let's replace this okay so it appears i am delete and as access key So we need to remove this space from here after delete and one dash. So this is the command AWS IAM deletes uh, delete dash access dash key. We need to provide username and then access key ID. Let's enter. Okay, so it is deleted now. Let's verify from console. Please note uh, one user can have multiple access keys and it is not mandated to delete old keys before creating new but this is not recommended approach. Okay let's see how to create uh, how to create access key for a specific user and store that key details in key.txt file for security purpose. So let's use this command. First, okay, first here. This I am create access key as test username. So I use same username that is and in key.txt file it will be stored. Okay, let's check out. So it is generated. So you can open this file text file and you see your keys there okay so friend uh, that was regarding the IEM of AWS if you are if you have any questions uh, then please uh, put your comment in the comment box so that I will go through that and will help you so thank you guys we will meet you and in next session thanks